Hello, I want to show you how to put full screen images into WordPress or it will work in straight PHP as well. Uh, one of the things I've always enjoyed on my computer, especially when I was working in offices in California and I didn't get out much, was these full screen, as you can see here, this is a uh, uh, Chrome extension that I have to help me be more productive. It's got a little over here to quote for the day and the time and, and my goal. And my goal today is to make, uh, make videos as I'm doing. But I love the, the full screen background and uh, particularly where I am today, it's very, very hot, about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and so the snow is very nice. And I like putting these onto some of the work I do. I've made, for example, and this is on uh, my WordPress site, WilliamClarkson.net. This is a background, a full screen or a full browser window background image with an audio player of the waterfall. For me, I find that very relaxing. Um, but I think that most people are going to find it useful if you're doing WordPress pages for musicians. And I have set up an example to show you how to create this. And I've got the CSS set up here. Again, um, if you've seen any of the earlier videos, I'm using the custom CSS plugin. And then that is under the appearance menu. And it allows us to overwrite any of the CSS on the screen. Now, I have set up the, the CSS and I got this from a site. I learned how to do it from a site called CSSTricks.com. And here is our image background. The minimum height is 100% and we scale the, width, the height proportionally. I'm not going to go through and explain every single bit of this in detail, but I will post it uh, on the website on the blog that goes along with this video. We've set that up and we've set up a place for the player, um, a white icon because we need a back button because we're going to hide everything else except the player and the, the image obviously. So we need a back button to go home and this is the, the song title. I've put a trans, semi-transparent uh, black background on it with white text. And I've set up a new page called The Band. And the first thing I'm going to do is to add the background image. Now I tried it with several of these. Um, obviously the, the backgrounds here worked very well. This one did not. You want a very large image. You insert that into your page. If you notice over here on the CSS, it's image.bg. So that means any image tag that has a class of BG will take this rule. So we go back to our page. You want to take everything out of class. Just delete that out of there until class has nothing but two quotes side by side and then type in BG. All right, let's update that. And I'm going to view the page. I'm going to control click it so we can switch back and forth. Got a control clicked. Try again, there we go. Move me back over here for a moment. You'll probably see the site, uh, sometimes you see the site pop up and then the image goes over it. There's a few elements poking through, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. Now the next thing I want to do, is I want to put the, the player on. I'm going to put in a div tag, just a simple div with a line of center, so we can get it in the middle. And I was using a lot of the HTML5, looking it up, copying and pasting it in here when I was getting ready for this video. 
um, but then I found WordPress will do a lot of the it does the work for you by inserting the player. So I just simply uploaded the MP3 to the library and you insert that in, same as you would an image. And I not hit insert into page. There we go. Oh, and I did it twice. So I did it the first time. Take that one away. Let's update that. And we'll go refresh our page. I think it may not show up. Ah. And the reason it didn't show up is it is behind everything. So we put in another div with the ID of equals player. Sorry, div. And this is going to go with the rule right here, player. And the Z index is very high. So I put the uh, I wanted to put the image above everything. I put the Z index of 10, and we're going to put the Z index here of 11, so it should go over that. Ah, and there it is. So that's a lot for just uh, a few lines of code. A nice full screen player. Now here I'm going to put the song title. And div id uh, class, rather, equals song title. And the name of the song. I don't know the name of it, so we'll just put that as a placeholder. And that's following the rule here, song title, with the background color that I showed earlier. Update that. And if you simply want to copy and paste this from the site, you're welcome to. There it is, nice. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to put an icon here because otherwise unless they hit the back button there's no way to get out of it because I've hidden all the controls of the site. They're still there, but we can't see them. So I'm going to put in an icon right here. Now I'm using um, just a, an icon font from Font Awesome. And there is another post telling more in detail how to do this that, that's on my blog, uh, my first post actually. So, but the important thing is to include, if you're using Font Awesome, to include that line up there. And I'll make sure that's in the, um, this lesson blog entry as well. And you simply select whatever font you want to use or font icon. And I've chosen the, the left hand here. And it will give you the code to place it on your site. Now it will go on there without any help, but as you'll see, it would be rather small and hard to see. Let's see, there's the site coming up and the image hiding it. And see, there it is right down there. Can you see that little hand? So there is a CSS class here called White Icon. 
and it sets the size to 50 pixels and makes sure that it's white. I know it's, uh, it's white already, but we're going to put a link on it and that will turn it blue. As you'll see, if, if I didn't put that in there, it would turn it blue. So I've got to keep the white code in there. There. And I'm going to select that, add the link back to, I'm just going to link it to the home page. There we go. Update it. And there we go. We've got the player. And we've got the link. Back to home. Well, I hope you found that useful, and I thank you very much for watching. Like I said, all the CSS and HTML, if you want to copy it or, or just simply download it and apply it to your own site, I'll have that here at williamclarkson.net um, in, the, in the blog. All right. Thank you very much for watching.